welcome back to my channel and we're doing another vlog i haven't been vlogging for the last few days because i have been in the great american midwest visiting extended family in ohio but now we're back and back to our regularly scheduled programming i took a few days off of vlogging while i was there just because it was quality time with family and now i'm in new york again putting on a little glow screen because i'm gonna go for I don't even know if I'm gonna fully go for a walk, but I am going to go walk and get some coffee. And I feel like I do this a lot. <laughs> um, maybe stop by Sephora because I've been trying out the Tower 28 SOS Rescue Spray and I love it. So I think I'm gonna buy the bigger size and maybe the serum. And then I'll keep the small one as like a travel size one is this blended in my skin has been awful by the way it's still in healing mode right now um something about i don't know if it was just like the environment in ohio we were in farm country um very rural part of ohio where my dad grew up or because we were staying in my grandma's house that was built in 1950 and like is probably full of molds like my mom and my sister were having allergies and my eczema flared up so badly and especially on my face like i never get it like that on my face so i got back yesterday was my first full day back but i got back at night on tuesday today's thursday and even after one day my skin was already so much better being back here and it's still a little rough. So we're gonna ignore that and we're doing what we can. I'm wearing a set from Story that I got in the mail. Spotted print. I like the kind of burnt orange color for fall. And I'm just gonna wear this with a little lightweight hoodie because it is actually cooling down here. I'm so excited. It's actually cooler outside than it is in here when I woke up. So I opened the window, got a nice breeze. The high is only 75 today which makes me so happy because I love this weather. Like weather in the 60s and low 70s when it's sunny out is my absolute favorite. So I love the transition to fall. This morning I got up and did um, another job application for one that I had bookmarked. I need to catch up on some stuff. Like I didn't really pull out my laptop much while I was in Ohio. And I would occasionally scroll through LinkedIn or kind of just like job sites that I've been checking and bookmark some, um, but I didn't actually do any applications. So I'm catching up on those now. I need to edit a video from before I left that I want to post this weekend. And yeah, I'm kind of just doing some computer work that's not that exciting, but I might go to a coffee shop and get out of my apartment because it's so nice. But first, speaking of coffee, I'll just be drinking a lot of coffee because I already had some today, but it's fine. I'm also gonna put some of this body spray on. Although I'm going to Sephora so I could just use their sample, but I'll use the one I paid for. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I actually didn't end up going anywhere. I just stayed home and came back with my coffee and I've been working on my laptop. Um, most of the day I've done a lot of kind of catching up on the job applications like I mentioned and it's actually been pretty productive. I did come back to another rejection email from an application that I sent right before I left. So honestly, that was a pretty quick turnaround. But honestly, I wasn't that excited about that job anyway. It's okay. But still, just another <laughs> another one bites the dust. I was invited to a NARS event tomorrow and they require a PCR test, even if you're vaccinated. And I haven't gotten a test yet and it's 5 p.m. And I don't even know if the like testing place that I've been to in the past is still operating. I didn't realize until like 20 minutes ago and I was texting my friend about going that it had to be a PCR and not an at-home test. So I'm gonna go and try and run over there now and see if the testing place is still there, honestly. Otherwise, I might not go to the event. I didn't realize until like 20 minutes ago and I was texting my friend about going that it had to be a PCR and not an at-home test. So I'm gonna go and try and run over there now and see if the testing place is still there, honestly. 
Otherwise, I might not go to the event. And it's over by Trader Joe's, so I think I might stop in there anyway. I'm supposed to get a HelloFresh box in the mail, so I'm not gonna buy too much stuff. Um, just a couple things for breakfast. Hoping for the best. Let's see if I can get a test. If not, I'll probably rest. Okay, COVID test was a fail. They were not there anymore. So I might try one more place and if not, it's actually 11 p.m. and I'm about to get ready to go to bed. But I thought I'd show you guys a couple of the things that I picked up at Trader Joe's. They didn't have like full on fall stuff yet, but they had, actually they had like a handful of things, but it wasn't like all of it was decked out and set up. But one of my favorite things to get in the fall is their cinnamon whisk. I just got the mini one and I love the smell of cinnamon in my apartment. So I'm just gonna open this and probably hang it on my fridge because then when you walk by, it smells like cinnamon. I should have gotten a couple of these, honestly, because they're pretty cheap and they're pretty effective. Like last year, I'm pretty sure I just walked around like this, <laughs> like I was saging the place to spread the cinnamon scent, cinnamon smell everywhere. It smells so good, but it's so strong <laughs> when you first open it that I'm like, feel like I'm about to sneeze. Beautiful. I got my favorite Trader Joe's fall item every single year. I look forward to the maple oat milk. Just adding it to my coffee, it's just delicious. So I don't usually get oat milk at Trader Joe's, but I love the maple flavor enough. I got a vanilla pumpkin candle, smells delicious. I did want to get some gluten-free cornbread mix though, because when I make chili, which is also one of my favorite fall recipes, this is clutch to make with it. So, so I'm gonna get ready for bed now since it's 11 p.m. I got so much of my video edited though, I wasn't expecting to do that, but I just kind of was on a roll. So feeling good about that, I'll just finish it in the morning and schedule it. Good night. showered after my workout i'm gonna go drop off my newly box and head to the nail salon get my nails done and i think i'm gonna do go back to french if anyone cares <laughs> um i'm wearing a mask because i put a little bit of vaseline on my chin to slug it and it just looks really greasy so i'll just wear this outside it is dinner time and we are cooking i got my nails done by the way i am I got the brown French chips. And I don't know, they didn't really impress me. Like I thought it was gonna look better in my head. But you know, it's fine, September. More exciting, we're making HelloFresh right now. How good does this meal look? I'm making the hoisin glazed pork tender loin. Yum, it's got some green beans, which I love, some rice, can't go wrong. And HelloFresh in general, you can't go wrong because they are America's number one meal kit. So thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I always love working with HelloFresh and this partnership is one of my favorites because I always get to make tasty meals and try new things. So that's what we're doing tonight. So if you have a packed schedule this fall, I know it gets crazy if you have like kids that are going back to school or just work picks back up after people's summer vacations and all that stuff. HelloFresh has meals covered with a selection of over 30 meals every week to try and 70 plus convenience items delivered right to your door. I'm doing the prep right now. I just chopped up the scallions i'm heating the oven next we're going to make a little sauce and i'm adding a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder hellofresh has pre-portioned ingredients so you have exactly what you need and that's great especially when you live alone or you know you don't necessarily want to get something for a specific recipe that you're never going to use again and have this giant quantity of the you in store you know which means less prep for you and less wasted food which is the goal a tablespoon of agua and I'm just gonna mic this sauce for 30 seconds. Next, I'm heating a drizzle of oil for where the rice is gonna go. What I love about it is the flexibility as someone who's a little bit chaotic myself and changes my mind, I love being able to change my delivery day, update my meal preferences, or even change my address, like if I was traveling home for something. I just measured this water so perfectly, you know, and the little things like that. You're just so proud of yourself. Okay, scallions are 
sizzle it. I'm gonna add the rice, add the water, bring it to a boil. Something that is also great to kind of keep you in control of what you want in your meals is their option of Hello Custom. So you can swap out different proteins in your meals, like adding protein to a veggie box, whatever you wanna do that fits your lifestyle. We love it. But look how good this looks. I think it looks even better than the picture if I do say so myself. I'm so excited to dig into this, but before I do, as always, I have to share with you guys my code. Such a good offer this month. If you go to HelloFresh.com and use code Christy65, you'll get 65% off and free shipping. So again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Christy65, and then you can get 65% off plus free shipping on your order on HelloFresh. Highly recommend. Link down below. Digging in to this dish. Mmm. That sauce. Iconic. Stunning. I'm gonna devour this. Bye. This is the first one. It says morning pumpkin, and I used to love this one. This is like a slow. I'm watching Alina's channel. I love her fall vlog. She always does, I think she does like a Vlogmas type fall series. They're such a comfort watch. Anyway, I woke up really early this morning, like before six, because I went to sleep really early last night, and I tried falling back asleep, and I just was not tired, so I stayed up. Got a video done and scheduled for tomorrow. Um, just had a very chill morning, drank coffee, reading, watching YouTube videos. And now it is, the day is in full swing. The world is awake, it's like nine something. Kind of thinking about going to a coffee shop. I don't have plans during the day today, honestly. I was like, maybe I should just get ready now just for the hell of it because I have time. And then I could look put together. Um, my skin is pretty much fully healed from my crazy eczema breakout in Ohio and it only took three days and I am feeling so much better like the difference that it makes when you have better skin even a couple days later so now I feel like putting on makeup and there's still a couple spots that are healing a little bit like dry cracked spots on my face that I am putting lotion on and stuff one that I always love when I have eczema on my face is Glad Skin I've had this for a while and I've used it sparingly just because I don't want to use it all but it's with oat collodio oatmeal which is great for eczema and they also have HCL in here I think that serum from Tower 28 that I picked up this week also has HCL the active ingredient so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on before I start my makeup and I also at Target bought a brand new beauty blender It's been far too long and look how satisfying this is and I'm gonna ruin it with makeup. So yay The changing of the seasons means changing of the beauty blender this headband I got in the same package as those story leggings and bra that I showed you guys it came with a matching headband how cute is that and I really like it because it's actually stretchy and not too intrusive. I don't think headbands look the best on me, but I just put it on to do my makeup here. Wanted to brighten up my eyes a little bit and add a little bronzer in my crease. I've been really liking that look because I think it's pretty natural. This isn't like a new concept, but and put a little bit in the crease. It's always that kind of feeling when you wake up early and you're so productive and you're like, wow, this is great. Why don't I do this every day? And then at 4 p.m. you're like, asleep on the couch but i also want to kind of like get out and go somewhere just because today is going to be another day of beautiful weather the last few days have been immaculate tomorrow it's going to jump back up to like 88 again and we're going to have a few hot days again so i'm going to go enjoy this weather which is much preferred by me i didn't end up going to that nars event that i mentioned because um, my friend and i could not get pcr tests with results in time so um bummer but you know so it goes. It was nice to have a chill night instead, and then I got to bed early. And I self-tanned this morning too, I didn't mention that, but. I'm ready now, I'm wearing an all beige outfit. What else is new? So I went for a in-between sweater vest. <laughs> instead of bringing my laptop somewhere, I just feel like I can leave that and not do any work stuff and just leave it for Monday. So I'm just gonna bring my Kindle and read. I was looking around at some places in my neighborhood and I saw a place that looks pretty new. I haven't noticed it before, and the oldest review is only a couple months old, so I think it opened this summer, and I haven't been yet. So I think I'm gonna go get a coffee there, maybe walk through the park, because it's by Fort Green Park, 
and do a little neighborhood stroll and find somewhere to read. I kind of wanted to go into Manhattan, but I don't really need to do anything there. So I kind of just be like bopping around for no reason, which isn't a bad thing. I kind of like having no destination and just bopping through the city sometimes. But for now, I think this is a good, <laughs> a good start. So lovely, honestly. First of all, textbook was such a cute coffee shop. There wasn't any seating outside, so I just walked to the park because it's close by. This coffee, very good. Um, it was a little expensive, but welcome to coffee in New York. So then the park was like bustling. There was like stands, people selling things that I walked through. Amazing. I'm gonna stop by a little bodega on the way home and then get some sushi for lunch. Because why not? Stopped at the bodega, picked up a can of Partners Coffee. It's a local Brooklyn brewery I love. So, did I just say brewery? Coffee roasters <laughs> that I love. And I like to have, I mean, it's getting, you know, into fall, so I'll be drinking hot coffee, but I like to have a couple uh, iced coffee options in my fridge. I found this, which I've never seen before. It was the only rogue can in the place but I saw that Olipop has it looks like a Dr. Pepper knockoff and when I was a kid I was never really a soda drinker when I would have soda sparingly Dr. Pepper was my favorite and I don't say that as like oh a health thing but I just didn't grow up drinking it so I'm curious how this compares and I've never seen it before and then I got some gluten-free pretzels I just always find new fun things when I go to this bodega I saw that smart sweets has caramels now, which I'm so curious about. And I love caramels, they're like one of my favorite sweets. Um, so I had to pick them up and try them out. I also love the color of the packaging, very cute. When I pulled this one off, I accidentally knocked another one off of the display. And instead of putting it back, I just bought them both and hope that I liked them. <laughs> they didn't have sushi, which I was bummed about, but I got some dumplings. So, just a little midday snack and try one of the caramels on camera because if i was watching this video and i saw someone pick these up and they didn't try them i'd be so annoyed <laughs> oh they smell really strong i will say i love smart tweets as a company but i do find that some of their things are hit or miss like when i like their snacks i love them but when i don't like it i don't really love their sour ones but this is actually pretty good it definitely has a normal caramel consistency. I think this is a hit. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste, so it's dairy-free. Good thing I got two bags. <laughs> okay, here's the outfit. I'm doing all neutrals again, like I wore earlier today. But um, this I put on long sleeves just because it is probably gonna get a little chilly with the sun going down. So I'm wearing lightweight nude trousers with this like square neck. It's a crop top, but I have it tucked in and it's like right there. And I kind of like different shades of brown and nude. So I'm wearing that with these little booties that kind of match the top. So I'm going to meet my friend Elise who's been gone for like three weeks in Turkey. She has family there and so she was on an extended stay visiting them and I missed her so much because she's like my emotional support friend <laughs> that like I do everything with in New York. So um, it'll be so fun to get dinner and catch up and hear all about her trip. And also today, randomly a few hours ago, my cousin texted me, my cousin who lives in Washington State, who I haven't seen in years. And I had just been, when I was back home, I went to our mutual cousin's wedding. It's my cousin on my mom's side. And I, she wasn't there. She's like the cousin that's closest to me in age. And we were super close growing up and stuff. She texted me that she's in New York for tonight unexpectedly because of a missed layover situation. So they put her up in a hotel and she's like, I've never been to New York before. I'd love to see you if you're not already busy, whatever. So I'm gonna try and meet up with her and her boyfriend in the city somewhere after dinner with Elise 
and and that would be really fun if I'm able to swing it and meet up with her because again I haven't seen her in ages and um, she's never been to New York and that would just be great because I didn't get to see her at the wedding when I saw the rest of her family. So that's what the night ahead holds. We're going to Katsuya in Manhattan West, I think it's called, or Midtown West. Um, it's like kind of a mall-ish thing that's attached to, I don't think it's a mall. I think it's actually just like an office building with a bunch of restaurants and businesses in it. I don't know, it opened last year, I never went. It's attached to like Hudson Yard. Tonight we're trying Katsuya. We don't have a reservation. I called and they said, that they have like the sushi bar and a little lounge space for walk-ins so we should be fine that's my saturday night in my neutral outfit let's go it's so beautiful out the sun is setting right now i need to head out in like probably 15 minutes and we'll go to manhattan west <laughs> go to sleep it's like 2 a.m. I just walked in the door I'm about to take off this makeup I already rubbed off some of those eye makeup on the train and knock out so today was so fun it was actually like more spontaneous than I expected after I got dinner at Katsuya which was so good you guys I would eat that crispy rice tuna sushi whatever their special thing is every day <laughs> but um we also got the wagyu gyoza so good i got this delicious drink that was like a mojito in the beer section but it was like a mojito mix and it was so good i went and met my cousin and her boyfriend at um dave and buster's in times square <laughs> which was so extremely random but they were there and we played games for like hours and we were having so much fun and I've never been to Dave and Buster's, let alone in Times Square of all places. But they said that usually it's no kids, but the one in Times Square did have kids. Um, but it was fun. There's like bars and a bunch of games, like high tech games that I had never seen before. It was great to catch up with her and meet her boyfriend. I've never met him before and they've been together for years now. And it was just wonderful. So we hung out, we went and got drinks after that. And now I am home and ready to take off my makeup and sleep. So I think I might just end this vlog here. Um, I might continue tomorrow into a different vlog. So thanks for watching. Love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you next time. Good night.